the uh, COB Congress Budget Office uh, says that fixing our broken immigration system would cut the deficit by nearly one trillion over the next two decades and raise revenue by about 459 uh, billion. And um, we're concerned about the deficit and also in terms of our broken immigration system. Uh, I have a list of uh, businesses within the 6th District, primarily in the city of Harrisonburg as well as Rockingham County, and signed petitions that I'd like to present to you where they're strongly urged immigration reform now. And I'd like to ask you a question. Would you, along with the 23 GOP House members, be urging Congress uh, Speaker Bonham to push for immigration reform before the end of the year? Well, we certainly would like to see immigration reform done. But as I've said uh, from the outset, uh, it is most important that we get it done right and not by any particular time to. This is a problem that's been going on for a long, long time. Uh, the Senate passed a bill very quickly. Uh, I and many others have been highly critical of that Senate bill for a multitude of reasons. You can go to my website and see the top ten reasons why I oppose the Senate bill. Uh, one of the chief sponsors of the Senate bill, uh, Senator Rubio, uh, said uh, just last week that he did not think the House should even negotiate with his own bill should go to conference to work out the differences with his own bill. So the step-by-step -step approach that we have taken of trying to address all three major areas of immigration reform, enforcement of the law, and not just at the border, but in the interior of the country as well, and not just the existing law, but we need changes to uh, employment verification, to entry-exit visa systems, to uh, how state and local law, law enforcement can participate in this process because 35 to 40 percent of the people who are here in the country illegally entered the country legally on visitors visas, business visas, student visas, visa waivers, and simply overstayed their visa. So the border is not relevant to their being here illegally. They came here legally, but then didn't leave. So you've got to have that enforcement not just at the border, but throughout the country. Now, we also need to have legal immigration reform. And I believe this is part of the CBO saying that this would be good for our